Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again. What are you doing? Spying on me? You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me, that it? You don't know shit about me and my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you, so go bother her. to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Uh, interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort. Aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar, but Carl threw them out for pulling scams, and now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. What are you gonna do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're gonna pay off Jack and Joe. And they're gonna keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I wanna ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. 
Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. Bandits. Yeah. Oh, and a lot of bodies. Yeah. Sophie, I'm sorry. One of them still. I alive. knew it. Well, I knew those motherfuckers would betray us. <laughs> Fuck them, Aiden. Kill them all. Get them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're mine. <laughs> Survivors. Fucking animals. Find the crystals. Susie had them. Susie? Carl. They took Carl. What? Where? <sighs> to their camp. We, we must... Susie? Susie, where are the crystals? Susie? Sophie, I found Susie. She's dead. I can't believe it. First Birdie, now her. Damn. Damn. Damn! There's nothing you could have done. No. Except that I sent them there. Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. I don't see these crystals. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. What? A goon. Huge, ugly motherfucker. He's slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there.
Sophie, everything's been taken. Probably took him before you got there. Everything has gone wrong. All right, enough of this playing defense. Let's meet by Jack and Joe's camp on the roof by the overpass. We're gonna go after Carl and our crystals. Jack and Joe will pay for this shit show. How's it going? You alive, man? <laughs> Fuck, I'm getting sentimental. I haven't said that to anyone since my third divorce. I appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not the marrying kind. Learn anything about the commander's murder? I heard Sophie's brother mention something about Lucas's death. That's all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned? They took Carl hostage. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. Gain her trust. That might also help us find out what they know. Just what... Child, they might be suspicious, but if you can do it, Ator will let us into the center. Hey, Herman. Where's Sophie? Hey, why were you on the mission? Friends could have used you. Okay. I guess that means I should wait here.
Mia? Mia? Aiden, what's the matter with you? Mia, where are you? Mia? Oh, no. No, no, no! Jack and fucking Joe will pay for what they did. I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked. And yet I let him lead. All right, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney, shut up! What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party. Not a wake. In case you change your mind. He can be a real pain in the ass. But we'll do something good for the city one day. Bertie, to your health! If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. You think killing Messrs. Cock and Cunt will change something? Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie... They deserve revenge, and Jack and Joe sentenced them to death, so they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Hey, Tor here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now. It's about saving your life. I'll tear them apart. I swear, I'll gut them. Real slow. Piece by piece. To Ralph? Susie, Ben Birdie, to our crew. Come over. What do you want? I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. First Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? But you said you wanted me to get close to them. I'm gonna search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. You came here just to warn me? You helped me with the Lazarus. And I take care of my allies. Sophie's just fighting for water, that's all. I don't think she suspects anything. Huh, <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar. And for her mother's death. 
So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be careful. Don't trust the people of the bazaar. They're more dangerous than they seem. Take care of yourself, Pilgrim. Inhibitor container detected. Take care of yourself, Pilgrim. Looks like Sophie's not here. I, I, I better look must, for her. Must be that. He it's lost there. something? <laughs> you won't find it here. <laughs> I'm looking for Sophie. Where'd she go? Said she had important business to attend to. But you can wait here with us. If you came to find out if I have a boyfriend, I don't. Which doesn't mean you have the slightest chance with me. Because you don't. If you think I was interested in whether you have a boyfriend, I wasn't. Which doesn't mean if you change your mind about my chances, I'll change my mind too. Fine. What brings you? You take care of Barney today. That guy is like a neon sign that reads Big Trouble. Right. The Pilgrim and Barney. Pilgrim! Me like that thing! Barney and the Pilgrim Mary is a thing. one! Hey, have you seen Sophie? I'm, I'm looking for Ah, oh, it's our brave fucking pilgrim. Been looking for you. Drink up. Cheers. Sorry, but I don't like drinking straight from the bottle. Ooh, the exalted count asks for a glass. Hey, did you get your radio checked by that dumbass Alberto? <laughs> that kook. Can't ever finish a sentence he starts. <laughs> Must have a brain made of Swiss cheese. Show some respect, Humphrey. Alberto's a genius with weapons and armor. What's your big skill? Farting into a harmonica and calling it music? Hey, you mangy pricks! Say your prayers. Barney's coming! And he's gonna kick your dairy ears. <laughs> I'll rip out your brains, then your hearts. Uh, just. Hey, have you seen Sophie? Sophie? Uh, yes, she went. Uh, she said, the, uh, she went that way. Exactly. Thanks. Wait. There's more. One more thing. Something's wrong with... Uh, uh, not working with... Uh, it's broken. That... Uh, oh. Dad's asking if there's something wrong with your radio. Oh, uh, it hisses sometimes, but as long as it works, no point messing with it. Um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Call me Aiden. Vincenzo, uh, Aiden, how do you become a pilgrim? 
Does that mean you're a murderer? Vincenzo! Why... What do you... Why would you... Dad, I'm asking because I'm curious. Will you tell me, Aiden? And maybe we can talk more about this another time. And thanks for offering to help with my radio. <coughs> I'm here. How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works. Sometimes, no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan, I swear I'll tear them apart and eat the pieces! Bertie! Ralph! To your health! I love you. What now? Do you remember the beginning of the fall, Aiden? <laughs> Vaguely. I remember it as if it were yesterday. We'd been defending the church against infected for some time. My mother was in charge. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Barney. She begged the peacekeepers for help. But they ignored her. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn. They led me to her. To the roof of the sacristy. She saw me and made me promise to look after my brother. <laughs> she said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. But while the world is burning, people won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life. But not anymore. Now I understand, my mother. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. I wasn't ready then. I am now. I think I know what you're talking about. And I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? <laughs> about my sister. I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe you don't have to be. We'll find out. That's why you came to town. For her. Yeah. Sophie, we have to talk. Time to act. The quicker we do this, the less prepared Jack and Joe will be. Aiden. Aiden. And we started on the wrong foot. A sip of courage. Should you be drinking this much before the mission, Barney? Me? <laughs> I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. Where's Sophie? There. On the rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim. the peacekeepers are watching us. I'll let them see what happens to Jack and Joe, and that we can do it to them too. Well, you said it was time to act. We're acting. I sent three scouts towards the camp. Carl and the crystals must be somewhere inside the building. Guards. Most are probably asleep. There are a few entrances to the camp. The front one, suicide. It's got the most guards. You go in first, we'll move in from the other side. And then we'll catch them in a pincer movement. If anything goes wrong, we retreat to our base. Where? 
The Tango Motel. Change of plans, Aiden. They attacked our safe house. Who? Sophie? You have my men there. <clears throat> Find Carl. Save him and get our crystals. Fast. I'll do what I can. me.
Gotcha, you piece of shit. Sophie. She has ten times the courage of Carl. Pilgrim. Where's everyone else? They were attacked. Where are the crystals? Over there. 
Radio Sophie. Fast. Sophie? I have Carl. He's okay. What about you guys? Sophie? Sophie? Are you there? You have to help the Maiden. Where should I go? Tango Motel. Sophie's hideout is there. Run. Fast. Go now. No time to waste. Bravo, Pilgrim. The Greenwood family. Any time of day, we thank you. Remember, Pilgrim. Greenwood. Oh, thanks. If you ever need something, just ask for Christopher. That's not all, Hakon. Sophie and Barney's hideout was attacked. It could be peacekeepers. Fuck. Remember what you're here for, Aiden. We were supposed to get into the central loop and not get involved in local conflicts. Don't get involved in this. Go back to the Metro. We will share what we have with Aitor, and maybe he will let us pass. I have to go, Hakon. I promised to help Sophie. Besides, that's the only way to get to the truth. Okay. I'll be in touch. Inhibitor container nearby. Shit. I'm too late. Sophie! Barney! You there? Sophie? Sophie, report in. Sophie! What the hell is going on? Report in!
This is Aiden. Your men are dead. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it, Aiden. I was actually starting to like you. You brought the peacekeepers here. I helped you. You betrayed us. And now we have to kill you. Helped Aitor and yourself. Helping us was just a byproduct. What are you waiting for? Don't know what to do? Hey, Barney! Barney, wait! You figures. Looking for Sophie. Sophie. Damn it! This isn't about you, Herman. Get out of my way. Give it up! Let me talk to Sophie!
Bonnie, kid. Find Bonnie. Barney? Come out! Come on, man! I will find you! If you ask nicely, I'll shoot you in the head. And if not, you'll spend a long time dying until you turn. So, you'll be the one dying, Barney. You're supposed to stop him, not kill him. Give me the weapon. Give it to me, brother. <sighs> Hope you know what you're doing. So this is the thanks I get for helping? Death is how we thank traitors. You didn't say you were working for Aiden. I don't work for Aiden, I work for myself. No one can remain neutral in this, Aiden. We're fighting for survival. Without water, the whole bazaar will die in under a month. And the peacekeepers, they won't help us. Just like when my mother died. They just sat and watched us die. Turns out, you're one of them. You don't care about us. Tell me, why should I not kill you? Sophie, shoot! What are you waiting for? Because we can help each other. Who killed Lucas? He thinks we killed him. Sophie, talk to me. Did you do it? No. Sophie, what the hell? Why do you care about this murderer? What did Ator promise you? Ator promised me passage to the center. That's why I'm helping him. And you believe him? Just like that? At least he didn't try to kill me. He wasn't the one you betrayed. But I can help you too. Help us with the water and I'll take you to the Central Loop myself. Okay, first, I did not betray you. I'm helping investigate a murder, and that's different. As for your offer, isn't the only way through controlled by the PK? There is another way. Do you really believe that I'd just trust you again? We need each other. You didn't tell us you were working with the PK, so we made assumptions. Things are getting more dangerous, and we all need to be careful. You tried to kill me, Sophie. I swear on the memory of Bertie, Susie, Logan, Ralph, and Herman, I'm sure. If you help us, we'll take you to the center. Will you help? I don't consider you enemies, but I don't trust you either. You and your brother, you're on your own. Good luck. Aider, you were right. Sophie and Barney were gonna kill me. I got a message from Hakon. Glad you made it through in one piece. Let's meet in my quarters in the Metro. We'll talk about what comes next. Okay.
now, motherfucker! You're mine now! You're dead now, fuck it! Overtime here, right? Don't matter to me. I need the money. You're here. Good. You were right. It was a trap. Yeah, it looks like you were getting close to the truth. Either they killed Lucas, or they know who did. We'll force them to talk. How will you do that? By taking control of the water tower. Jack and Joe took off somewhere. Only stragglers left in the tower at best. This is the only source of water in the area. And whoever controls the water, controls old Villador. So you'll take it by force? I could. With the bandits gone, the bazaar will station guards at the tower. At the first sight of the PK, there'll be an immediate clash of forces. <sighs> well, I don't want to give them an excuse for war. However, if someone took over the tower quietly, it would be a fait accompli. <sighs> so you want me to sneak in there? Yes. And disarm the charges left by Jack and Joe. Take out whoever's left up there. But be careful. The tower's the tallest structure in the area. The only way up was cut off. I can try. Seems like the only option right now. All right. Go for it. If you pull it off will gain massive leverage for the bazaar to tell us who the killer was. Damn. 